Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 12 of our Capitalism Lab Sean Co. Let's Play. It is June of 2004. Our company has $80 million, and when we left off... When we left off, uh, I was going to start expanding out. That's right, I was going to build a farm out here. And I was going to start making cows there, making some leather. So, you know, I think we're just going to... You know what, let's see what... Uh, what does the computer suggest for making leather? Very straightforward leather making process, huh? Well, I kind of like that. Can I change? I can't change that one. I'm going to use that just for the convenience of it, but I'm still going to change that to inventory. We're going to go there and there. Whoops, there and there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to change that back to sales. I'm going to change these ones to inventory. Because I feel like one sales unit can take on uh, take on everything they can bring in. Um, so that means you don't connect there, but you do. And you don't connect like that. You connect like that. And you connect like that. And you connect there. Great. And all the rest of you are set up correctly. All right. Cattle, leather, sales. Good. That's set up. And um, we're going to, whoa, we're going to zoom in apparently. Um, we're going to build a factory. And uh, let's not mess around. Let's go with a couple of large factories. We're going to build two. One is going to be for uh, chairs. Great. Um. User defined, wait a minute, exit. All right, I want to I want to copy this one. No, that's not what I want to do. Oh, I see. Well, I don't know if I want to use that instantly, set it up. Um, uh, user defined. Uh, oh, add. And it produces a chair, right? Oh, did it add it? Okay. Great, great. We're in good shape. All right, and uh, we're going to add one for the sofa as well. Add, great. And we're going to go back here to Chengdu. We're going to apply the chair. Nope, I'll take care of that myself. You can use all cities. But I think for timber, we're probably going to use the local stuff. Uh, Chengdu, uh, 58 quality. Yeah, that's right. This is cheap. That's good. And cotton, uh, cotton we are going to have to link up from. My own farms back in the other town. Right there. And uh, that will make beds. Very good. Linen. Where do we get linen from? Do I sell linen? I thought that was something that we uh, uh, made in and plant, but I guess not. Great. And then we're going to build another factory, another large factory right there. And that's going to be for couches, or sofas. Sofa, there we go, use. Uh, you know what, yes. Go ahead and auto link. Let's see how you do. You did not do very well. Why would you link to a competitor? Oh, that's not the right, I made the wrong choice there, that's for sure, I think you had made the right choice on that one. And did you link to my own factory? I hope so. All right, now we've got more sofas coming out. So I can finally start getting some sofas and stuff to these other uh, these other things. All right, apply selected. No, 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 apply to all. That's what I meant to say, apply to all, yes. All firms, please. I'm talking really quiet this episode. I hope, uh, I hope it's carrying. 
Oh my gosh, I thought for a second I might have forgot to plug in my headphones. That would be a disaster. I don't do enough tests. I should probably test my microphone before every video, but I basically only do one test every day. And I've had one disastrous day. It's been a few months, but I had one disastrous day where I recorded like three episodes where it didn't record anything. Oh, I was so upset. I just scrapped that entire series. You guys never saw it. That was when I recorded a bunch ahead of time. Tried to, I, I learned some lessons, that's for sure. Um, you know, one thing we haven't done in a few episodes is check out our prices. That's uh, one of the things that you got to do a lot in this game is make sure that your prices are competitive. Um, and uh, they're looking good so far. That was the eggs. Chickens. Chickens could actually use a little, a little better pricing. Um, cigars. Cigars are in good shape. Can't really change those at all. Our brand is slowly uh, improving over their brand. Somehow I skipped over cigarettes. Cigarettes are doing all right. Hmm. Their brand is really strong. Do I not? I was going to say, I was sure I had some good advertising going on this. Maybe maybe I slowed it down. Um, and they're going to have furniture in this town too, right? This is Hamburg. This is my main town. Um, how are, uh, we are the only game in town on furniture. Um, so we probably could continue raising prices. And sofas. Oh, you know, actually the lo local numbers on sofas are coming up, so I, I don't necessarily want to raise prices. I might actually have to lower prices a little bit. And these chair numbers, chair numbers are looking good. All right, what, um, speaking of numbers though, let's go to like Bordeaux here. Bordeaux is not able to keep up with sofas, but how if I start getting sofas from, uh, from Chengdu. Let's do it. And uh, beds. I feel like you're getting beds from the bed factory here in town. So I don't, I think this is where I had that bed factory here in town. And uh, we're going to get you from the new Chengdu chair factory. I could have swore I had a chair factory in Chengdu. Are you making beds all of a sudden? Clear stock. There we go. That's much better. All right. Scared myself for a second. Chair factory. I'll link up to Chengdu, would you? Great. And uh, Lisboa, because... Oh, so here's the, the bed factory in Lisboa. So where do you get your beds? Beds link. From the bed factory in Lisboa. Okay, that's good. It's fine. All right, so here in Lisboa, let's, we only have the one uh, furniture store. Might do well to have more than one furniture store. How about I put in a second furniture store and I'll have it hook up to a different, uh, oh wait, I do have a second furniture store. It's over here. Seems to be doing all right. And we're gonna link that one up to the new Chengdu factory for sofas. And actually, I think I'm going to link it up to the new Chengdu factory for chairs as well. And uh, beds, it's going to stay at the local factory for beds. That's fine. Um, let's throw some more advertising in on these. Oh, so the uh, computer is getting in on the uh, advertising business now. I'm going to have to start buying up some media outlets because they're getting all my money from my media buys. Let's uh, take a look at how I'm spending my advertising. Uh, that's right, I got these set to, there we go, let's do retail stores. Uh, retail stores, all cities. All right, so here, it's going to a gray one, right? That should be good. Here it's not going to any, here it's going to a gray one. That's not even advertising. Uh, here I want to change to a non-competitor's station.
not spending very much on advertising there. Probably because I'm advertising out the nose in this town already. But why not spend more? We got a lot of money. Why not spend it inefficiently? That's what every millionaire says, right? I've got so much money, I can just throw it away. That's how you make more money. You got to throw away money to make money. That's what they say. Pretty sure that's what they say. I know millionaires are full of sayings like that. All right. Well, we still can't keep up with the leather. But at least all of our livestock things have upped a level. So, you know, that means they must be... Uh, like, these guys are all at 100% utilization. It's the process capacity that we're running into problems with. And, of course, inventory. Somehow they're at 100% utilization, which doesn't make sense. Like, they're just at utilization because they're moving everything through. All right, I don't care about that. Store's making good money, though. I can't bring in another uh, item. I guess I could bring in a f uh, beds from another factory or something. Look at that inventory. Finally getting a little overstock. A little inventory of chairs there. Do well if we want to open up another furniture store in uh, like Bordeaux. Still no inventory of chairs or sofas. And uh, they don't even have room for inventory of beds here. They just buy it and sell it. And there's that linen that we're selling. Still got plenty of uh, cotton and flax and all those other ingredients here. A little bit of overstock on eggs still. That's good. Back here in Chengdu. Inventory of chairs. No inventory of sofas. Surprising. Plenty of cigars. Not selling so well. Not as uh, high quality as I would have thought by now, but that's because we haven't bumped up the quality yet. So we'll be getting there real soon. Leather leather seems to be doing all right. Nice inventory of it. It's because we're not really selling much. Did I not connect you guys up to... I hope you're linked to that one. You should be linked to this one now. Clients. Okay, so that one, that should be my client, which is good. How about uh, here in, uh, um, in this town? How are they doing on leather? How about I link you up with... Uh, with my other, the Chengdu leather factory right there. Um, yeah, it's not even that much more expensive. So let's do it. Maybe it's a lower quality leather for now, but you're gonna be able to keep up a little better. Good, well, I feel good about that. Let's uh, see how our stocks are looking. We've paid, paid some prices for not paying close enough attention to stocks, but look at that, that dual power definitely has gone up I think maybe we should cash out on that. Very easy to cash out on it too. We own such a tiny, tiny percentage. And loop, loop is looking like a good deal. I, oh, oh, that was my own personal money. I see. I mean, that's not a problem, but. Um, and uh, so, well, I guess I, I'd have to sell this loop or I could buy it because it's such a good deal, right? All right, how about I buy, there we go. And then, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to buy. We can't go any less than where we're at right now. So I guess I have to leave that like it is. Um, you're still, you could buy, I could buy up some more Moonbeam. Round pedal, oh boy, let's sell that. Great. Serpentine is still pretty worthless. Target strike. I mean, it's still a good deal because I bought most of it in the, the uh, $13 or $15 range, something like that. 
Uh, I do own quite a bit, so let's sell off half of what I own right now. So that gets me up to $130 million. Not enough to buy a media station, but it's getting there. Could I start one? A newspaper is only $90 million. And if I started it here in Hamburg, uh, let's do it. I'm gonna shift all of my local advertising to my own newspaper here. So, Link Media, there. All right, let's change this to Retail Stores. Nope. And uh, the city, there we go, great. So, Link Media, there. All right, well, hopefully that won't be a huge, uh, huge waste of money. Uh, but I remember in the old game, uh, that was uh, pretty profitable because all that money that I've been thrown into media is now being thrown back into my own company. Um, so, you know, it's good to, good to see that. Uh, market budget for new content development. Of course, I should be spending some of my money on content. Um, yeah, I spend a million dollars on content. I definitely would like to get my content quality up. Some of this stuff has definitely changed since the uh, since the last time. Um, huh. I'm gonna actually reduce advertising pricing so I can get a better bang for my buck. There we go. Um, but this seems to be changed from when I played it. You know, however many years ago. See what happens after a month on uh, on these new policies. Almost a month. Come on, 28, 29, 30, 31. Happy New Year. All right. All right, well, it's a very profitable firm. So, you know, it was worth buying. I guess I could look at making a newspaper in Lisboa as well. I have five stores there. Yeah. Uh, R&D of cigars and cigarettes is complete. That's good. I'm actually going to keep R&Ding on those for now. Um, but um, I'm going to start reaching diminishing returns here. Like we're only getting 31 for this R&D. But that is gonna uh, it's gonna really improve the quality of the product that we're putting out here. How's our tobacco? I thought we had a tobacco farm down here. Oh, it's this little bitty thing. Seems to be holding up all right. Uh, inventory. There you go. Thank you. We have room for plenty of inventory over here. And uh, it seems like we uh, can't even sell through one crop's worth of tobacco uh, between harvests. So uh, I don't need to add any additional crops, but it doesn't hurt to add additional inventory uh, segments. And you can see they're, they're harvesting right now. So, I mean, it's really flooding the... Uh, Really flooding my inventory. Maybe holding on to a lot of inventory here. Uh, but I don't think that's really a problem. I've never been one to believe that holding on to too much inventory is a problem. I, I, I shouldn't say that. You don't want to hold on to too much inventory. But having inventory itself is not inherently a problem. Um, uh, you, you just need to be able to move it. You've already paid for it, so... You know, what are you going to do? It's It's been paid for. It shouldn't shouldn't be too much of a concern at that point.
All right, these guys I might want to switch over to a new type of R&D when they're done. Uh, I could continue trying to get more into the food market. Um, do I, what kind of what kind of brand do I have? I, I believe I have a. Uh, uh, well, I don't need to. I don't need to wonder what kind of brand I have. I can go look corporations, corporate details, brand. I have a range brand. Great. So. Right, I, I would need to. Uh, hmm. How do I get my brand loyalty up? Maybe just by increasing the overall brand quality. Wow! Look at all that money. We're so so wealthy. I don't really want to turn these guys off of R and Ding. What they're currently R and Ding. Or, I mean, uh, I want them to keep R&Ding overall because they're very effective. But I do need to start looking at some other, uh, looking at some other products. Um, farm products usually seem to do pretty well. You know what? I have a lot of, well, I don't have a lot of leather. I actually don't really have any extra leather at all. Hmm. I don't want to leave them just sitting, not being used. Maybe I'll change change their terms to one year by the time uh, by the time they're done there. Uh, but what I was going to do was go here to Lisboa and buy a newspaper because uh, that last newspaper did so well. I could actually afford a radio station here, so let's do that. It doesn't really matter where it ends up. I don't think it really does. But you know what? I'm going to put it downtown. Because that's where all the action is. If you need a place to go, you can always go downtown. Very expensive land. But you know what? Why not? We are living the high life here. There we go. Good. Do it. Uh, let's lower our ad prices. It's fine. No, nope, that's not lower. This would be lowering them. Come on, two dollars. Oh, so picky. Of course, that's the timer. Two dollars. I wanted to see how this ad worked out, how this radio station worked out. Well, I definitely need to go through and change all of my shops here in town over to my new ad thing. Uh, if you've enjoyed uh, watching this episode, um, it went by really fast, uh, but it was uh, definitely fun to play, that's for sure. Uh, you should click the like button down below. Let me know uh, how much you enjoyed it, and uh, be sure to tell your friends uh, to watch uh, watch my channel. Um, I did set up a wonderful, um, uh, wonderful commercial that I made for the channel here. Uh, you can share it with your friends and, and uh, give them a little taste of what's going on. And um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching. Um, be sure to leave some comments and let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to coming back. Uh, we still have 15 more years, right? It started in 1980 and we've got till 2030. So we're halfway. Um, but things are going to get really strong after this. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.